Well, hello. It's me again. So I got way more feedback than I expected from my videos, and uh, a lot of people wanted to see another one, so I held off a little bit until 21 dropped, and I've been playing 21 for about a week or so, and uh, yeah, let's make a new video. Um, and I'll say right off the bat that I really am straight up enjoying 21. It is awesome. There's my base, and it's not even close to being finished yet. All right, let's 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 do a little tour. Uh, first of all, I set up right across from Jen's clinic, which is awesome. Um, there's the cable place, which is just filled with books and stuff too, so that's helpful. Uh, if you haven't tried 21, I think it's still only for PC, but oh, you have to get it. The traders look better. Um, of medicine in the wasteland. Their whole locations look better. Uh, let's see. They still have their vending machines. And then they still have the rented ones, which, going back to my first video, which was how to make super easy money, I don't think that it still works here. Um had a lot of this stuff in here for like two or three weeks now so I don't think that the vending machine trick to get insane amounts of dukes works anymore which that's kind of a bummer but these traders so far I've only seen like two solar cells for for sale like this entire time so I really don't know what else I'd spend the dukes on anyway And that is kind of a bummer because I need solar cells. And I could only afford the one, so... Yeah. But anyway, um... Yeah. This looks pretty similar to my previous base. Um, I'm going to do a little bit more work to it because for some reason... I've had a couple of zombies... Like, glitch through the wall... And I think it's because there's only one block of space, and there's a ladder here, and then a ladder going up there. Somehow the game conflates it, and then they kind of like walk in between the two, and then I think I think that taking this out and moving it one block further, just this bottom part, not this other stuff, uh, same here, just this one section of wall, and pushing it back further one, I think will solve that problem. And, yeah, I'll find out one way or the other. And then eventually this is all going to be steel. Because mining is still very much an easy part of this game. Although it's a little bit different because the auger no longer reigns supreme, in my opinion. What? Am I hearing? Hmm. Another thing that you might want to try is when you put your... Okay, definitely hear something. I added entrances to my base on all sides. So, what I was saying is one thing you might want to try is putting your land claim block somewhere inside your base where you can access it. Uh, I literally put mine inside the base where I cannot access it. Like, the entire first ground floor there is solid filled in blocks. There's no... There's no cavities in there. It's it's completely block, rows of blocks. And my uh, land claim block is dead center in there. So unless I want to spend a bunch of time trying to get to it, it's stuck there. Which is okay by me because I like having these borders turned on anyway. 
but if I wanted to turn them off for some reason, that would not happen. So, something to think about. Um, what's different about this base is now on each level I've got access to the outside on on each four sides on every level except for the ground floor which has five I've got one on this side one on this side for emergency access um, I made everything a little bit wider this time so what I might eventually do is put some sort of ramp out here like a drawbridge leading to a ramp so I can make a little garage down here or something. I don't know. Well, I got plenty of time to figure that out. So, um, same basic setup here. I've got my, well, except for the books thing, that's all new. But um, now that I'm playing multiplayer every now and then, it's nice to have this, where I just dump all the books I don't need. So if anybody needs them, they can hop in and use these. Although, the, I'm gaming with like three different people, and I haven't seen any of them in a few days, so... Uh, ever since Diablo 4 dropped. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, come up to the first floor, and the first thing is... I mean, everything just looks so much better in 21. It is it is crazy. Uh, the, the plants... I, I'm not a huge plant guy, but it's a really nice touch. Uh, the stations look so much better... They've got these just tons of little details that they really didn't even have to do. But it's definitely appreciated. I mean, that, that's just like so much so much artistic detail. It's, it's crazy. Like, the, I mean, all the instructions on a coffee. Like, who, who would actually sit there and read this? You don't even read that in real life. But, you know, it's, it's tons of detail and it's awesome. see yeah i mean if you get some time go through and actually read all this stuff like all these notes on on the virus and then the workstations oops uh did not mean to do that whatever uh yeah everything just and the crazy thing is that the the performance is is so much smoother even though everything looks way sharper and, and more detailed like one thing that that kind of blew my mind is sometimes i'll come out here if it's if it's nighttime and just kind of see if there's any zombies to pick off and i don't i don't know what's going on over there i think somebody from the multiplayer was gonna build a base or something i i have no idea but um one thing that blew my mind is i was out here looking around for zombies and i noticed like even with the naked eye, you can see the flies around the dumpster, which, that's no big deal. But, I mean, that's just crazy detail, especially from this far away. I mean, they didn't have to add flies at all, and, you know, this isn't the kind of thing that you see and think anything of, but it's all that, uh, it's all that small attention to detail that really adds up. And some people don't like the, the new systems, and some people love the new systems, whatever. I mean, whatever. It's the, the graphics and performance alone, I would say, are worth the upgrade, even if the book system is not particularly to your liking. And the good thing is that, you know, you saw that big stack of books that I had. It's, it's easy to get them. You just drive around and loot all these machines and mailboxes. Yeah, those, and then whatever vehicles you come across, it's super easy to get more than enough books. I mean, I'm on day 40. Granted, I do have the days set uh, so that they last a little bit longer. That way I can actually go out and enjoy the game. But, um, yeah, I'm like day 43 here. And, I mean, yeah, I, I did dump a pretty good amount of Dukes onto some of these books just to get it all out of the way, but I'd say 75% of all these books were just found in mailboxes and newspaper machines. 
So, yeah. Anyway, back to the base tour. Like I said, it's still a work in progress. I haven't done too, too much with it, but I've got a few forges. I used to have in my previous base, like a big wall of cement mixers, but these, these seem to do the trick. Um, we'll go back for the organization stuff here. I've got my random parts that I'll never use. Uh, random tools, random weapons, and then, you know, related books for like skills. So, uh, armor for anybody that needs it. I don't use the light armor, but a couple people that I play with do. There's ammo and explosives, but I've also got specific ammo that's the most popular stuff that we use. I use this all the time. One person uses shotguns, and then a couple of people use nine mils. This thing used to be full, but I used it to make all this base, so at some point I can get rid of that. Uh, that's all the stuff I've mined up, which, again, is insanely easy. I'll, I'll do a whole video on the mining thing later. Food and ingredients. Uh, medical stuff. Food ingredients. Oh, yeah, I did that one. <laughs> Drinks and stuff. I got really lucky I found the recipe for pure mineral water within the first week. So that was awesome. Yeah, just all the stuff. Um, I came up with a new system. So we each have boxes where we can keep, you know, whatever personal stuff we want. Like I, I buy these a lot from the vending machines and I pull these up through mining. And I just, I don't know, it's just whatever I find that I want to keep. I throw in my own personal box and, uh, I locked it up and you know these others they can put whatever they want to in their boxes and stuff and they usually lock them and then i threw in some mailboxes so if somebody had something they wanted to give somebody but they weren't online because this is uh on a server now I, I think it's well worth the few bucks a month to rent a server so if i'm playing alone i'm like okay well she needs you know she's into clubs or whatever so i i got a really good club or something I can just throw it in here so whenever she logs on she can check her box I made everybody a bed and a door and a sign so they can customize their own little apartments which I'll get to in a minute so anyway I am really pleased with myself for this system I haven't seen anybody do anything like this before so this workshop is also sort of a Sort of like an apartment lobby, I guess. So you've got your personal storage, and then you've got stuff you want to give to specific people, their own mailboxes. I like it. Uh, I, I don't know what to do with all this other space, so in the meantime, I just temporarily threw in uh, that vehicle and this vehicle, which I haven't even used them yet. I created them, and then modified them i've threw on the um fuel saver mods and the uh extended gas and the off-road lighting which is insanely bright and i guess if you wanted to you could just leave it like that but that's that's too bright for my taste so and the horns sound so much better i mean you know it's still not great but it's way better so um, what else down here? I still don't have lighting yet because I can only come across the one solar cell. Uh, one thing you probably have already heard from other people is to get the water purifier mod as soon as you can. That is helpful because if you go and get, or rather make yourself a bucket, you can go to a water source and scoop up the water and then you can make something like this and you can dump the water into it. So, did it give me the prompt to drink, or it should, oops, okay. <laughs> so anyway, 
you can drink all the water you want with the purifier mod with no bad consequences. That way you can save your drinks for when you're actually out on the road and doing stuff. I like that. Um, another really big change from the previous base, uh, which was actually suggested by Emily, is something that I, I am super happy about. I implemented this in a way that I think a lot of people would benefit from, especially multiplayer. But even if I'm by myself and, and a zombie comes up and tries to you know, and I'll go back down here just to go over this real quick in case you haven't seen my other videos. But basically how this works is the way this is set up is zombies will go for the path of least resistance, which in this case is a very simple ramp. So they'll come up the ramp. I also add these ladders in because sometimes if they can't immediately get up that ramp, they'll stop here and start hitting the walls. Um, good night. So I threw some ladders in there and it works like a damn charm. They, the zombies will come up and, and they'll just start climbing up the ladders and so I haven't had to do any significant repairs on this ramp in quite a while so definitely awesome um i wanted to test out this speaker thing which i don't think it's turned on right now it's not powered but i thought it would attract zombies so if i was bored i could sit here and bring zombies up and kill them but all it really seems to do is just make an annoying noise i don't know if it actually generates that much heat but anyway, so zombies come up the path of least resistance. They come up here. I stab them. That's all there is to it. If you've got some people with you, you know, you can have somebody here. You can have somebody here. Which is especially good if they're using firearms because the melee people can just hang out here. So you can easily have, you know, three people there, you know, two or three people here, two or three people here, same on the other side. So if you have that many people that you game with, then, you know, more power to you. <laughs> so that leads me back up here. Uh, back to Emily's idea, which was to have access to that from here. So we tried it, and it's awesome because if you're up here, whether you're by yourself or not, if you've got the forges going and you're cooking stuff and you've got all this heat and you've got zombies coming at you, you don't want to have to run down every single time to go to that little area. So you just hop up here, and there they are. So as long as you are good on ammo, no problems. I threw in a couple of dart traps, which I've never used before, but they seem to be doing pretty good. If you see the trigger plates down here, and then the darts shoot straight down. So anything that stands on those plates will get shot in the head with darts. And my initial concern was that it would damage the plates, but they have not sustained any damage thus far. I don't know why I said thus far. Nobody says that. So, go back out here real quick. And you can see I've got my shoddy turrets. And those are aimed specifically... Oh, let's test this out then. Oh, I have it powered off, duh. Okay. So, anyway, I've got the shoddy turrets and they are aimed just down here. I don't want them shooting up on the ramp. I just, anything that gets knocked off of here, if it doesn't land right here, or, you know, just lands over here, I want the shotgun turrets taking care of stuff down here. That way they're not sitting here beating up the walls and all that fun stuff. Uh, then I've got my 
emergency backup plan. Hmm. Someone's out here. Oh, just missed him. Where did you go? I also think the night vision looks a hell of a lot better in this version. I could be misremembering that. I Maybe it looked the same. I don't know, but uh, I'm definitely enjoying it this time around. Um, it's better with guns or basically anything without the flaming mod because when you start lighting up piles of zombies in front of you, you can't see anything. One thing to keep in mind. Then, uh, you know, I have my railing on every floor again and that's specifically... So I can just walk around and shoot zombies. Ooh. And they do seem to be a little bit more erratic when they run. It's a little bit harder to get a shot off, but I could just be misremembering that as well. Each of the four doors that I have, you know, each door on each side, also has a ladder going all the way up, so the base is pretty accessible from wherever you are at the moment. Uh, I've got ladder here, ladder here, and these ladders go all the way to the top, which we'll come back to in a moment. Yeah, right now I'm just using a gas Jenny for the uh, turrets and traps, so I only keep that on during Blood Moon nights. But anyway, highly recommend this. This is just super cool. Big time saver. And it's also one of those things where on a horde on a horde night, if somebody wanted to, they could just hang out up here. You know, kill whatever stragglers fall down there. Um before I put these traps in, I actually had what I was just calling my murder holes, which you could just drop grenades and uh, pipe bombs and stuff down there because they don't do much block damage but they will kill the hell out of the zombies that were congregating but since I was able to craft the shotgun turrets uh, that hasn't really been necessary so highly recommend great to see you ah. master okay I think that covers this floor I got my bulletproof uh Bulletproof glass everywhere. Um, partially because it keeps out the weather. So if you're in your base and you constantly get that message that says that you're, you're getting wet is annoying. Um, you know, there's also the aesthetics. Uh, it just, I, I think it looks better. So it blocks out weather, it looks better. And very importantly, it also keeps out the uh, vultures or whatever they're called on Blood Moon Nights. And in 21, I've actually noticed some of them in the forest anyway, just on regular days. So that is interesting so far. Anyway, come up here. Uh, don't have much as far as decoration and stuff goes, but uh, if, you know, if, if you're a stair person, I got the stairs. Otherwise, this goes back to the letters that start at the ground floor and go all the way back to the top. So you can skip all the floors. I mean, this, this would be cool if they just had like an elevator system, but ah, it's whatever, it's still pretty nifty. But if you like the ladder aesthetic, you can come up here, got the doors over here. Then we've got our apartments, which I'm the only one who's decorated mine so far. Like I said, the other guys haven't been on. Um, yeah, and you can you can lock your door and all that stuff and yeah. So I got my plaque, that's my pad. Got my basic little apartment here. The I don't know if they had this paint in twenty. I never really cared too much about the aesthetics. 
but uh, I decided to give it a shot, and the marble flooring and this this wood just I think it looks awesome. I'd I'd like to actually do this to my real place. Uh, haven't messed with the ceiling or anything yet. Uh, they've got paintings and stuff that you can put in this game now, which is awesome. Um, I like that. That. Oh, see, that's why I keep the drone around. She tells me what's up. Yep. There's the uh, murder pit at work. Okay. So, I like these paintings because uh, I'm probably showing my age here, but these look like the... They remind me of the uh, album cover for Nine Inch Nails, Downward Spiral, which is still probably one of my top ten albums of all time. Um, just threw in some random stuff here. Sectional couches, TV that I don't think turns on. I've got my door here. Step outside and see what's up. Yep, still dark. Um... This speaks for itself. I'm not going to get all political or anything, but, uh, yeah. That's, uh, that's what's up. Got my computer desk here. I don't know if you can get a real desk or not. I imagine you probably can, but I haven't, I haven't really seen one yet, so that'll work for now. Got my computer desk, which, again, does nothing but aesthetics. I will probably eventually make some sort of makeshift shower if they have um, faucets and stuff that you can mount. I could probably paint something. I don't know. Whatever. I'll figure all that out later. Sink, toilet. Not just the toilet, a fancy toilet. So, nothing but the best for me, bum. Uh, then we've got some empty apartments. So there's three people that I've been primarily gaming with. So there's my apartment. Here's an empty apartment. Let's go up the stairs again. Empty apartment and empty. So everybody gets their own, you know, apartment, condo, whatever. Just something for a little bit of immersion. Sometimes you want to take a break and just decorate stuff or I don't know. Sort your inventory, whatever. It's kind of cool. Plus, it's nice to... When you lay down a bed, it acts as a bedroll in that you can spawn on it when you die. So, when you're all pissed off because you just got mobbed and dead, killed, bleh, you know, it's not, the, it's not the worst to wake up in a place that looks decent. So, you know. All right, so we got the apartments up here, and then for roof access, you have to use this, which we keep closed because the weather. So, I've only got one SMG turret so far. I, I need to get more solar uh, cells. Like, badly. <laughs> uh, and the sole purpose of this is to shoot down the vultures. Uh, that come by on Blood Moon Nights. That way nobody has to actually pop out of the base, run around outside, even on the railing, and just search the skies for freaking birds. I just let this take care of it. So eventually I'll have, you know, one on each of the sides. When you place these under bars, they show as pink, indicating that, that it's not going to work, but it does work. Uh, bars allow weather and sunlight to come through. That's why the solar panels work under the bars. And so do the dew collectors. And so do the farm plots, as you can see. And when you go to plant stuff, again, under the bars, it'll still show up in pink sometimes, indicating that it's not supposed to be put here. But you can because it's just saying, hey, there's something above me. That's why it's pink. But that's okay because bars let the weather through. I've got this... I don't have too many seeds yet. 
but I have this basically set up so I've got I can do a section of nine, another section of nine, and then a section of nine. So I can have, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six three by three plots as soon as I get some more materials to put one here. Um, I might add a few more dew collectors because it seems like glue and duct tape are a lot harder to come across for me in 21. Uh, so I definitely need the water. Uh, that's probably why, actually, because water itself is harder to come by. So uh, I'll probably install a few more of these. And uh, one of the benefits to having them on your roof is, you know, it's, it's safe for you to come up here and check them at night. And also, I had a blood moon a couple days ago, and I had four outside, and they destroyed three of them. And that's weird, because I never actually saw them being attacked. But, yeah, three of my dew collectors were destroyed. So, fun stuff. I don't have railing on this top floor. I might add it eventually. I haven't thought too far ahead yet. I've just been kind of doing a lot of mining and basic building. And I've gotten a lot of, like a surprising amount of people asking me to show how to build the base, which uh, it's, it's super easy. And in my other video, I linked to a basic version of it, but I will, since, since I've had a few people ask, I will do a separate video on how to build the basics of this base. And then you know, basically just the first floor or two, and then you can add to it or modify it however you want. Um, you can't, I don't think you can place things up here. I did try to put a new collector up here just to see what would happen and it wouldn't even let me, which in retrospect is fine because the buzzers would probably end up breaking them anyway. So this is more of just a, you know, I only put rooftop, rooftop access up here. I, I don't know, I guess just if you're bored and you want to go look at the moon and stuff, it's a, it's a pretty moon. One thing that's cool, if you haven't noticed, is if you watch the stars, like I'm not moving the mouse at all, but the stars are rotating. I guess technically it would be the earth rotating, but yeah, so it's a day night cycle thing, which I, I thought was pretty slick. I don't think that the moon and the sun move, but the stars do, and yeah, clouds move. Ah, just one of those other little details that, that I thought was pretty cool. And they, that actually probably was the case in 20, and I just hadn't paid too much attention to it. I, I really don't know. <laughs> And then, as with my previous base in 20, at some point I will add some SMG turrets uh, just in case I want to take a break on a Blood Moon night or uh, if I'm getting swamped by uh, demolishers or something. I can just flick a switch, wipe everything out, and then turn it back off whenever. And I think that's about it. In a nutshell, I haven't been answering too many questions on my previous videos because, uh, like I said, I was waiting for the transition to 21. So the main thing that's that's really changed, I think, that, that people are asking me about is the Dukes, like the selling all the stones for Dukes. And so far, I think they probably got rid of that. But... Maybe maybe something will happen, and I don't know. If it does, I'll give an update. But yeah, it's, those have been in there for several weeks now, and no progress, so I don't have to earn the Dukes the old-fashioned ways. Um, let's see, I've got a list of other questions that I'm going to get to in some other videos. The main reason that I wanted to make this video right now is because 21 is still technically 
an experimental slash unstable version. So I have heard of some people logging in and finding their games completely gone, like their saves just missing. Uh, I haven't really noticed much glitching or anything like that. I think it's been pretty great so far. But I wanted to make this video and get it out there just in case something were to happen. Otherwise, I typically would prefer, you know, not to show off at my unfinished base. Oh, it helps to have a round of the chamber. One thing that I kind of wish they had done for 21 would have been to add more zombies. I don't know how I missed that. Ah. That's why I like a machine gun. But, yeah, anyway, if they had added more zombies, I think that would have that would have definitely spiced things up a little bit. The people that I've been gaming with, I actually, I actually came across them uh, by chance. We, we weren't even, I, like, I wasn't even looking for people to play this game with, and then I started talking to somebody that just happened to play this game, so we started playing together, and... And then I met their friends, and yeah, so anyway, they got me to try out uh, Darkness Falls uh, before 21 dropped, and I did, and they had so many different zombies, and it was awesome. And a lot of the old ones, too, because in earlier builds, like, they used to have, like, a football player dude, um, some strippers, and... Uh, like the cowboy looking guy and some other stuff. And so for now they still have the same basic zombies that we had in 20, but I I'd be surprised if, if they didn't eventually bring back some of the old ones or add new ones. Um, I mean, that's something I think literally everybody would enjoy and there's no reason not to do that. Um, it didn't seem to affect the performance at all with darkness falls. And, like I said, now the performance on this thing is so damn smooth. I actually have everything set, let's see, to the max, I think. Yeah, got everything set to ultra. And, yeah, my, my PC is decent. It's not, it's not the best, but it, it, I mean, it's, it's still slightly better than most. But even then, it was still getting a little uh, a little wonky at times with 20 when things were getting super busy. But, I mean, I've been on, on Tier 5 quests full of hordes of zombies and stuff so far in 21, and I'm, I'm just not getting any lag. No lag and uh, no significant glitching. So I am digging it. Another thing that I'm also thinking, in addition to... I think I think they'll eventually add zombies. I mean, I, I haven't heard anything about them doing that, but I think they will. And one thing I think is each of these traders has a helipad. I'm willing to bet that at some point they're going to add some sort of fast travel system. I don't know if it will allow you to go to different POIs, or if it will just uh, let you go from trader to trader, which that would be fine with me. Um, I'm really curious to see what they do with these helipads. I mean, they wouldn't have... I don't think they would have added them just for no reason. So, uh, And then the helipads, they also have... Next to them, they have um, like you know, like a tent with a microphone and a, and a radio. So I'm thinking you'll be able to use that to call for a ride or to initiate the fast travel or something. And you might not actually even get to see yourself take a helicopter ride. It might just teleport you, basically. But, uh, you know, even if there's a, a fee for it, like, 
I don't know, a hundred dukes or a few hundred dukes or something, that that would be well worth it, especially if it's uh refresh day. So you want to go from like here all the way to this trader. This trader doesn't want to have looking for, so go to this trader, this one, and then you know, wherever else, I still have a lot of exploring to do in this map. But bouncing from trader to trader is tedious. So if they did add a fast travel thing where you could get to the tra traders that you've previously been to, um, that would be super convenient. And then one other... Thing. I'm looking at a little list here. Like I, I don't have time to get th to everything just now. Like I said, I just wanted this to be a basic little um, base update for 21. But uh, a few people mentioned <laughs> the poor audio. Yeah, my I have a, a new microphone, but it's not new. It's actually it's newer that I dug out in a box because my old one finally completely died on me. Um, this one's still is not great, but I'll, I'll eventually invest in something better. If, uh, if people keep asking me to make more videos, I'll get, I'll get a better mic. Um, a few people have mentioned that, that I seemed bored or had low energy and stuff <laughs> in a couple of the other videos. And that's, I'm a pretty low key guy. Um, I'm, I'm pretty mellow. Uh, I also have uh, depression and that can do that sometimes. It can make you seem really, you know, like Eeyore. Uh, and sometimes if I'm not depressed, I have anxiety. And my anxiety medication will also make me, uh, yeah, sound a little bit dull. So uh, it's best not to expect, you know, like high octane, exciting commentary from me i'm just i'm just some mellow dude um if you want somebody with energy you know check out like jaw woodle or somebody because that, that that dude has got energy wow like he can and, and his videos are really good too so but no I, i'm just i'm just low-key with it <laughs> um and then i've got a few other things here where people are asking me to make a few more videos explaining things and yes i will do that um, I'll do a video on the mining. I've had a few people ask about that. And then most people have asked me about base building. So, yeah, uh, here in the next week or so, I will, uh, I'll get some videos going on those. I do appreciate the feedback and, uh, all the positive, uh, comments people have left. I, like I said, when I first made a video, I was just kind of trying to show people this trick that I thought I had discovered and uh yeah everybody's been super cool so i mean if this is if this is doing it for you then let me know and i'll uh i'll keep doing it so uh anyway uh so on the on the list we've got make a base building tutorial a mining tutorial which is just super easy and then a horde night because you can't have all this uh, base footage without a without a blood moon. So I've got the default set for every seven days. So on day forty nine, I will come back and make a blood moon video. Well, that's a good way to end it, I guess. All right, well, thanks for stopping by, and <laughs> I'll see you guys later.